welcome to our final episode of Mondays with Miranda. I'm Miranda, let's dive in. Last week, President Biden signed an executive order expanding and guaranteeing affordable child and long-term care for military and working families. While the COVID-19 pandemic highlighted just how essential the care economy is in the Badger State, we're glad the president is continuing to make moves to support working families while expanding support for those who provide care. In other news, after months of waiting, we finally got a peek at House Speaker McCarthy's default plan. This bill would cut child care, education, and opioid treatment by 22%, endanger public safety by cutting over 2,000 Customs and Border Protection positions, evict hundreds of thousands of families, seniors, and veterans from their low-income housing, and take away health care from 2 million people, including those in many rural areas. While Speaker McCarthy's plan is called the Limit, Save, and Grow Act, we're sure the only thing growing is the checking accounts of the ultra-wealthy and corporations. And finally, a new report published by the Wisconsin Policy Forum found that only four other states in the country fund their two-year community or technical colleges better than Wisconsin. And that's a wrap on Mondays with Miranda. Thank you for joining us for the past two seasons as we've brought you the news from around the Badger State. We've got some big news of our own coming soon, so don't forget to follow at OpportunityWI to learn more and stay tuned. I'm Miranda. Have a great Monday.